Can't exactly say there are a lot of things sweet about Election Day, but there is a sweet tradition for Election Day dating all the way back to the 1700s. Yeah, Laura, we see you holding a <laughs> yummy looking cake there. Election cake is used to draw people to town centers in the early days of our country. Tell us more. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So I found that election cake was one of the earliest attempts to get people excited about going out to vote. I mean, what better way than to eat cake? Now, you have to remember, voting wasn't so easy hundreds of years ago, of course. The process took days, but it was was more of like a celebration afterwards. People drove far to town to cast their ballot, and according to the New England Historical Society, election cake, also known as great cakes, were made to feed the hundreds of people who went to town and celebrated in the center of town. The first recipe for American election cake appears in 1796, and the first U.S. cookbook, Amelia Simmons's American Cookery, it's similar to fruit cakes. It could weigh as much as 12 pounds. Of course, I attempted to make this of course that's what I'm holding it does not weigh 12 pounds but it's made using yeast it's loaded with butter sugar raisin and it has a splash of a secret ingredient can y'all guess it Bill you want to go first <laughs> booze yes it's whiskey whiskey you nailed it did y'all look at the script yeah, yeah. sorry <laughs> Although yeah. in all fairness to be honest. in all fairness I started squinting my eyes when you got to raisins in a cake so I mean I kind of barely knew that whiskey was in there but you know I'm not a big fan of raisins either so we will all tell if, I mean if you want to try it you can but we'll see if it's any thank good you. okay <laughs> <laughs> thank you Bill you're so nice I want to try it Laura <laughs> thanks for baking the raisins Laura's a great baker it is he, it, she, she is he doesn't know don't that. worry we'll eat it all <laughs> Not Someone you. will. It's the raisins, I promise. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Bill Ray, you'll yeah. try it because you're so nice. Well, no, I love raisins too. Raisin bread. That looks like almost a giant donut, doesn't it? I mean, it's, it's really cool looking.